Hi, my name is Ann Boyd, and this is my installment of My Unfinished Story with Grace Covenant Church. Life as we know it has been turned upside down, and there are great costs for all of us that have come along with the coronavirus pandemic. There's a lot that's scary in the world these days, but I've been really encouraged by the creative ways that people are connecting and reaching out to care for one another. Let me tell you about an experience I had with this kind of creative connection through our mission friend groups. I hope that most of you have been able to connect with a local group for prayer and worship together. And if you didn't receive an invitation to a group like this, contact Troy Katie, and I'm sure he'll set you up. Our local group of six households met through a video call this past Sunday morning. And to be honest, it felt a lot more meaningful and authentic than I had expected. My daily work demands that I often have video meetings with colleagues across the nation. And so I know that these meetings can function pretty well, but that they're not always fantastic. Frankly, I'd had a lot of video meetings last week, and I felt sort of done with them. But I signed on for our Sunday morning meeting anyway, and just because I knew it was the right thing to do, and I wanted to be there to support the community. We didn't do anything fancy. We shared some of our household concerns and we prayed together and we made some plans for future meetings like this. But even through this simple format, I felt a deep connection with these friends through this time of crisis. I felt known and I felt that we were all getting to know each other better. One of our group members commented that this was perhaps the deepest conversation he had ever had with some of us. And I agreed. We all committed to pray for one another throughout the week, and the presence of Jesus was with us, even in a virtual meeting. Our story is unfinished. We have only had one meeting together, but I'm excited about gathering together on future Sunday mornings. I look forward to praying and worshiping and talking and sharing communion with these brothers and sisters. Even though our current social situation requires constraints, I am so grateful for the way that Jesus is allowing for us to be the body of Christ for one another. And I look forward to more of his activity in our lives. Bye.